Good morning. I am here with Kelly Moore, the director of the Tennessee Immunization Program. How are you today? Doing well, thank you. Great. Now, what would you say is the most important thing for everyone to know about vaccine storage and handling? Well, the thing that most people may not realize about storage and handling is that it really matters. Vaccines are fragile biologic agents and they can be damaged by getting either too cold or too warm for too long. And it's important for everyone to learn what they need to know about making sure they take care of their vaccines so that they don't get damaged before they're administered to the patient because a damaged vaccine won't work the way we expect it to in the patient. So uh, there are a few things that people can know about getting started in vaccine storage and handling. First is picking the right equipment, making sure you have a refrigerator and a freezer that work well, as well as picking an accurate thermometer. We often recommend that thermometers be certified and calibrated to make sure that they're precise and accurate in their measurements. Some practices may want to use a digital data logger, which is going to record information 24 hours a day on the temperatures in their storage units, and then they can review those each day to make sure that they're staying in range. The other thing that's important for everybody in the practice to know is what to do when vaccine arrives, making sure that package gets taken back to the refrigerator, unpacked, checked to make sure that it's not damaged, and then immediately put into proper storage conditions. When something goes wrong, if you find in your practice that vaccines have gone out of range for some reason, a good option is to check with your state or local health department to ask for advice to find out, is that vaccine damaged? Should I use it or should I discard it? Uh, manufacturers can provide much the same information if you contact them and ask them, but you're going to need to know what the temperature was and how long the vaccine was out of range. A lot of information goes into this. Emergency planning is another thing you need to think about. Where will I move my vaccine if my storage unit fails? So these are things each practice needs to go through, and there are a lot of resources that can help you. CDC has a website dedicated to vaccine storage and handling resources with a lot of great information for everyone, and you can go there by going to CDC's website at cdc.gov forward slash vaccines and clicking on the link about vaccine storage and handling. Thanks. Thank you, Kelly. Have a great day. Thanks.